Hello everybody, this is what I call a Bernie Bear or a B period Eugene Bear on YouTube Spirit Flash. Now, I'm going to get out there. I don't have a Bible in my hands or in my lap, but I've been studying the Word almost 44 years. I've been saved 60 years, 64 years. I confess the Lord Jesus Christ at 10 years old. I'm almost 74. I'm an elder. Here's a couple of what-ifs. I think three. Everybody's, all the phony baloney prophets out there, and I'm not a prophet, I'm a spirit teacher. I'm a truth teacher. And the Lord told me to stay in the Word. But I'm going to get goofy here and get out there with all the phony baloney prophets. <clears throat> The rebellion, the great falling away before the son of perdition, the lawless one, is revealed. Where and what is the rebellion, the falling away from the truth? I don't know. I'm just asking a question. What if? Now I'm going to explain to you a couple other good ones. I can teach the spiritual numbers from zero to a plus one half to one. And that goes in a box. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1, 0, 10. You can teach all those spiritual numbers. We all know from Scripture, man was created on the sixth day. Man, in major doctrine of three, in his fullness of disobedience and sin from Adam and Eve, He's born and shapen in iniquity and sin and disobedience. A child left to himself without discipline training and his bottom getting warmed when he pulls a temper tantrum in Elbertson's. I was in the line the other day and this young boy in the basket was acting up so bad that when it came to my turn to the cash register, I said, Back in the day when I was a kid, I'd have got my bottom warmed red if I'd have acted like that. So anyway, <clears throat> so much for that one. Adam was created on the sixth day. The spiritual number six is humanity or the creation of man. Man in the fullness of his sin, major doctrine, is 666. That is the number of the lawless one, Antichrist, 666. It's scripture I'm explaining to you without reading it. just have to trust me <clears throat> because I'm a called spirit truth teacher of four, almost 44 years. Now, we know that the Hebrew language is numerical. A lot of past prophecies, present prophecies, and future prophecies are found, and I am not trying to promote the Bible code, but Hebrew is mathematical, and therefore can be fed into a computer. All right? 666. Six, six. I'll tell you a little story. When the last pope was elected, in Rome they're looking for the smoke to change color, I guess, or come out of this little window. So I had a friend of mine call me up and said, we have Pope smoke. And I thought for a second, Pope smoke? And apparently the smoke changed color, so they had elected a Pope. Now these different Popes from different countries in the Catholic Church uh, uh, proclaim a new name when they become Pope. So my first question to my friend, when we had different colored Pope smoke, I said, well, what's his name? What's his new name? And I said, if you know his new name and can write it in Hebrew and figure it out mathematically and it comes out to 666, we're in trouble. <laughs> so that is my point. If you think you've got Antichrist on the scene, son of perdition, the lawless one that comes with deceiving signs and wonders and the power of Satan through a man does his, can you write his num name in Hebrew and does it add up 
to 666. Because in Hebrew, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way up to 100. And then there's 100, 200, 300, 400. So, if you can write the supposedly Antichrist name, does it add up to 666 in Hebrew numerical value? What if? So, there's another one of my uh, what ifs. And... Uh, I'm still looking for these two words, third temple. And I don't find them in God's eternal word, the Holy Bible. Third temple. And another three word, I, the Holy Spirit never put Trinity in his Holy Bible. Zero zip. Now Easter's in there one time, but actually the Greek it says Pesa or Passover. It doesn't say Easter. So Easter actually is zero or doesn't belong in the Bible. I think the Catholics put it in the Bible to support their pagan holiday. I don't believe Christ anointed believers that know spiritual truth should observe Halloween or Easter or any of the Gentile pagan holidays, including Christmas. But even Antichrist Jews love Christmas. They make a lot of money on Christmas. You know, what if? Do you ever think of these things? My gift to the world, to humanity, and I'm starting to be noticed out there. I'm going to get a YouTube channel. I have a friend that's going to help me get a YouTube channel. And then, I, therefore, I'm going to be out there without coming to B. Period, Eugene Bear. Only my friends on Facebook and my friends or someone that I say on your smartphone can you get YouTube oh yeah I can do that go to YouTube go to search type in B period Eugene Bear and then you find me but without YouTube's help and I think there's someone on YouTube that likes me I can't get out there in the channel world or where everybody all the way around the world sees me on YouTube Unless YouTube does me a favor and puts me out there, channels me without me knowing it, and they have my permission to do that, freely I have received, freely I give. I'm not interested in making money or being paid. I'll come to your kitchen, living room, and church and speak for free. If you want to learn about the name, I'll learn about how to teach Christ, and I'm not talking about the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm talking about teach Christ anointing and the mysteries, iniquity and good. Do you know the mysteries in the New Testament? We're to be stewards of the mysteries, plural, and hope and calling. Name, Christ, the mysteries, and your hope and calling. I am called to reveal and teach those four things. Four consonants in the sacred name of God. That's the first thing I teach no matter what I go. And from me teaching the four consonants, the four Hebrew letters, because I had a Russian Jew rabbi Bible mentor. Read five languages, read Greek and Hebrew. But I'm a Gentile, theologian, Bible teacher, anointed spirit teacher that teaches truth. Thought this was going to be a two-minute blast. It's an eight-minute blast. Play it again and consider what I said. I'm not predicting the future. I'm a spirit teacher, anointed teacher, and I teach the truth of the Word of God. I point you to the Word of God so when I'm dead and gone, you've still got the eternal Word of God, the Holy Spirit that renews you and regenerates you and teaches you truth. Be Bear. Be Eugene Bear. Bye. Love ya. What if? Six, six, six.